Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 20. And again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Zidon, and prophesy against it. Zidon is just north of Tyre. Now Zidon, before we get to his prophecy, should bring you one person in the Bible who's from Zidon. Jezebel. Her father, Ethbaal, B-A-A-O, the king of Tyre and Zidon. So some of this prophecy is going to throw into the, the mat Jezebel, because Jezebel is even mentioned in the book of Revelation. Now, not the woman herself, but her practices. And say, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee, O Zidon, and I will be glorified in the midst of thee, and they shall know that I am the Lord. There's that expression, you shall know I am the Lord. When I shall execute judgments in her, and shall be sanctified in her. You know, when we're in this realm of COVID-19 and all the mayhems going on in the world, it ain't global warming. It's coming a time that the people of the world and Americans will know that God is the Lord. Again, as I said often in the book of Ezekiel, many a times when they realize that God is the Lord is when they wake up in hell. Then it's too late. When you say God bless America and all that, the God of America today is Pfizer's and Johnson & Johnson. Now we are entering a particular phase in the world right now in America we're getting where products are being recalled. And you got to pay attention to what products you may have in your house that are going to be, that are recalled. You got to bring back to the store. You're going to know it's the Lord. It's not the president. It's not the Russia. It is God. For I will send into her pestilence. Does that sound familiar? And blood in her streets. The wounded shall be judged in the midst of her by the sword, war, upon her in every side. They shall know that I am the Lord. And I guarantee the people in Zidon got to the point like the Romans and the Greeks. They, they were pleading to their gods and goddesses. And even the book of Jeremiah, the, the Hebrew women say, you know, you, you know why we got all these problems? Because we weren't, because we stopped offering cakes to Queen of Heaven. And there are people in America today, all the problems is because you don't have a Republican in the White House. And the people on the other side, all the problems because you haven't got the vaccine. And they're not looking to God, their maker. And there shall be no more a prickling buyer. And you know, that's that weed that, that pricks and bites you. And you get the thing stuck to your pants and your socks. and Onto the house of Israel. nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them, that despise them. Everybody around Israel despises and is the thorn of the side of the children of Israel. They shall know that I am the Lord God. And you say, well, how do you know Israel's God's people? Do you realize everybody in the Middle East region hates Israel, including Africa, including Europe, that if it wasn't for God, if they just got together with the United Nations, they could just blow Israel off the map and have breakfast in the morning. 
But they are a protected people. They are a people of God. Thus saith the Lord God, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel. You say, well, Ezra and Nehemiah. Okay. From the people among whom I have scattered. And shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen. They shall dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. Okay, Ezra and Nehemiah. They shall dwell safely therein. Nope. That's not Ezra and Nehemiah. That's not the occupation of the Romans. That's the millennium. They shall build houses and plant vineyards. They shall dwell with confidence. Millennium. So you can forget the replacement theology. You can, repl you can forget the idea that God's all finished with the Jew. Because you look at verse 25, it says, Thus saith the Lord God. And if God is all finished with the Jew, verses 25 and 26, then God's a liar, which says God cannot lie, God will not lie. And if God's a liar, then he's just like a man. And then, you know, he's, no, he's not the Almighty, he's not the All-Powerful. And he's just like Satan. And he's not. When I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them. What's that execute judgment? When Jesus Christ comes with the sword in his mouth. And those that are against Israel. The goat nations. He casts off with the lake of fire that burns forever. Eventually. Goes into hell in the lake of fire. And those that help the Jews in the tribulation period, those are the sheep nations. They are allowed to go into millennium with the Jews. And they shall know that I am the Lord their God. <laughs> okay. Here's another one. They shall know that I am the Lord God. That's Jesus Christ. Notice how it said that time, the Lord God. Tell so that you Jehovah Witness. The moment that the Jehovah Witnesses learn that Jesus is the Lord God and the Lord God is Jesus, too late, you're in, you're in a hell that you didn't believe in. That I am the Lord God, that execute judgment, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the second advent within two passages about the millennium. What are you going to do with it? And notice how it's not always in chronicle, chronicle order because the millennium, then the second has been Jesus Christ. You've got to rightly divide so you're not made ashamed. 